Rigging Station, presented by Diamond Fishing Products, the finest monofilament, fluorocarbon, and braided fishing line in the world. Hey guys, welcome to this episode's Rigging Station. Captain Carlos. How's it going? And myself, we're aboard our CV370Z out doing some high-speed Wahoo fishing. Wanted to take a break from the action, talk to you in detail about the tackle that we're fishing and what works for us. Absolutely. For starters, is the reel itself super important. You know, back in the day, a lot of guys were fishing wire. Monel. You know, Monel, mm -hmm. stainless yep. wire. A lot of the pros, mm -hmm. especially the guys fishing the Wahoo Championships yep. and some Wahoo tournaments, a lot of guys still prefer that wire. It still works. However, it certainly has evolved a lot. Braid has entered the picture. Right. You know, a lot of guys are starting to fish Wahoo on braid. And then, of course, there's that third option, what you see us doing, and that's the high vis 80 pound diamond line, the monofilament. Mm -hmm. A lot of, you know, a lot of stretch, yep. very forgiving. From there, the reel itself. We like these Alu Technos reels. A lot of guys are fishing. International, Tiagras. Tiagras, yeah. what else? Makairas. Absolutely. Yeah. And then even guys are fishing electric reels. Absolutely. And they've incorporated electric reels like the Hooker Electric and the LP you know, into their high-speed Wahoo trolling arsenal. Not something that we need to do here along the Southeast Coast. Not something that everybody needs to do, but I guess if you want to go in that direction, you certainly can. Right. You know, being able to push a button to retrieve that lure and a heavy trolling lid certainly is a benefit. But again, yeah. not necessary. What is necessary and what is a really big benefit is the low gear, low two speed. Two speeds, buddy. A two speed reel yeah. with low gear, mm -hmm. I'll tell you. Crucial. <laughs> crucial luxury. Yeah. You know, luxury. Yeah. Yeah. Really gives you a big advantage when it comes to reeling in that fish. Remember, you've got a big fish on, boat still moving forward. You're never stopping that boat. That low gear is certainly important. Well, and when he's running and going deep, you pop it into low gear, you get more torque Absolutely, that way, Absolutely, no so, question. Yeah. So we've got plenty of line capacity on the reel, hundreds and hundreds of yards of that high-vis diamond line. At the end of it, we've doubled up the line with a bimini twist with a loop-to-loop -loop connection. We've connected a 25-foot long, 200-pound test wind-on leader. That simple. The end of the wind-on leader, a heavy-duty ball-bearing snap swivel. From there, we add our inline trolling lead. In this particular case, I happen to have a 24-ounce lead right here in my hand, but these certainly can go all the way on up to 48, 54 ounces. Put that right on your snap. Make sure your snap is closed just like that, little piece of wire on both sides yep. and painted white, both help prevent getting cut off. Pretty much. So from the end of our trolling lead, the next thing we're gonna add is about a 30 foot, 40 foot section of shock cord. You yep. know, this is two to 300 pound monofilament. Like I said, 30, 40, maybe even 50 feet, but certainly no longer than that. That is actually gonna go in between the trolling lead and the lures themselves. And this is a big one, the lure. What lure do I pull? big, big equation here. You know, there's a lot of different options out on the market. Variety is key. Oh man, there's so yeah. many different Wahoo mm -hmm. lures out there. Carlos, yeah. if you had to pick one color, what would it be? You just touched it. Purple and black. No. Nope. No, nope. red black and black? And black and red. Okay, so dark black colors. Black and red, man. Black and red, killer lure, bullet-shaped head, big red eyes. Okay, that's your, the epitome of a high-speed Wahoo mm -hmm. lure right there. It's heavy and it's a big bait. There's certainly a lot of other options. Yozuri style bait, Yozuri yep. Bonita, super effective. You've got to have one of these in your trolling spread. Jed heads, okay, I can't say enough about jed heads. You can see this one. We've trimmed the skirt a little bit on the bottom so it doesn't get fouled up with the hook. That's something you should do with all of your Wahoo lures. Absolutely. Little jets, so it creates a lot of smoke mm -hmm. and a big profile, looks like an even larger bait. How about this one, a blunt head lure? A lot of guys are afraid to troll blunt head lures when they're high speed trolling, and they shouldn't be. It can be super effective. Staple in every Wahoo spread pretty much anywhere in the world is an Islander style lure. Okay, on top of a skirt, there's a lead jammed up inside that skirt there, big profile. Uh, acrylic head lures, don't discount these either. You'll catch a lot of Wahoo on these clear acrylic lures. Okay, but keep in mind, this is a lot lighter than one of these heavy metal head lures. So, so you gotta adjust need, accordingly. You have to adjust. You're gonna yep. need more lead, right. you know, to get this lure to swim properly. All of these lures are rigged from anywhere from 275 to 400 pound cable, mm -hmm. absolutely essential. A lot of them have a two hook rig. Why? Wahoo are notorious for coming up to a bait and chopping off the tail. Yeah. Okay. They literally well, they try and break it in half. Yeah. I they mean, cut literally. the motor off. Right. You know, right. and once that motor is off and yeah. that tail's gone, they'll turn back around and they'll eat the rest of the bait. Right. So that second mm -hmm. hook often grabs them when they're coming up mm -hmm. to, to attack that bait. 
if you make sure every one of your connections is perfect, make sure you do everything right, you've got the right gear. A little variety. A little variety. You yep. want some dark colors, yep. some light colors for different conditions. Mm -hmm. But you put all of the pieces to the puzzle together, and I'll tell you, you can have an absolutely awesome experience. Absolutely.